Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building another unique steam locomotive and we're going to be building this Erie Triplex locomotive which has three sets of driving wheels, the rearmost one being all the way back underneath the tender here. And this is a 28882. And this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build now. So to start off, we're going to take polished blackstone brick stairs facing forward, and we're going to put two on this side of the tracks and two on this side, leaving the middle open. Then above that, we'll take polished blackstone brick wall, two up here, a polished blackstone brick block in the center, and two walls on this side. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this top middle block. And under the center here, we're going to put two dark oak fence gates. Then we'll do our first pilot wheel. So we're going to come behind this and take out another right block here. And right behind this on bottom, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. And then put a stone button on the side of each wheel. Then on this top middle, we're going to do three netherite on the center up here. Then we'll take polished deep slate walls, two here and two up here. On the side of it, we do the first set of pistons, so a two by two of black concrete on each side like this. Then we'll come behind this on the second layer in the middle again with netherite. And we're going to do a line of netherite coming back up the center. And that's going to be another 30 blocks long in total. So count out 30 coming straight back here. Then once you have a line of 30 blocks coming back, we're going to put two blackstone brick slabs on the second layer. And then still on the second layer, we're going to go three wide with black concrete right here then behind that we're going to go back to netherite and do a line of netherite up the middle and this one is going to be 16 blocks long in total once you have 16 we're going to come behind this on the bottom middle on the next block down get a black stone brick wall in the center then three blocks wide with your walls, then a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, and two rows of three walls. Then put a stone button on the side of each of these wheels, or that trailing truck. Then we'll come up top and extend the netherite up the middle to the back of this. Then back here, we're going to go five wide with black stone brick blocks. Take out this one and this one and replace them with slabs. And finally, for the coupler, put a dark oak slab on the back. And under it, we'll put two dark oak bed skates down here. And now our basic layout is done, and we'll come back up front here. Then we're going to do our driving wheel, so we're going to skip one block back behind these pistons. And we're going to make four connected 3x3 three three plus shapes of deep slate tile blocks. So there's four driving wheels up here, and they're all connected like that. And then, of course, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side, aligned with it here, for the driving wheels on this side. So four connected 3x3 three three plus shapes of deep slate tile cloth. Then, once that's done, we're going to come behind this with polished deep slate wall. We're going to leave two empty blocks of space and skip to the third block back behind these wheels. Two walls on the side here and two here. Then skip one block back behind that and we'll do our second set of driving wheels. So same thing, four three by three plus shapes of deep slate tile blocks all connected. So there's four driving wall wheels here for the second one. And then of course, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side, directly aligned with it. So there's four driving wheels on this side as well. And then since this is a triplex, there's a third set of drivers. So we're going to come one block behind this black concrete and put two polished deep slate walls on either side. 
then skip a black back, and again do four connected 3x3 three three plus shapes of deep slate tile blocks for this last set of driving wheels. And of course, we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. So come over here, do four plus shapes aligned with it on this side. bottoms here so they're all plus shapes and I forgot to do the bottoms on this side so I had to come through and put a block on each one for this side then we need to round off all these driving wheels so we're gonna take upside down deep slate tile stairs on both sides and these corners and put upside down stairs on all four then come up to the second set of drivers and do the same thing And then the same thing on the third set of drivers up here. This locomotive has a lot of wheels. Then we'll turn the opposite way and put upside down stairs the opposite way in all of these corners. So the bottom of the driving wheels is completely rounded off. And same thing for the second set. And same thing for the third set. Then we'll come up top and we'll do right side up stairs in all these top corners. And same thing for this set of drivers. And same thing for the front set of drivers. And finally turn around and come back through and put stairs going this way in all these corners. Same thing for this one. and get these back drivers. And now all of our driving wheels are finally all rounded off here. Now we'll add in our second and third pistons. So right here, a two by two of black concrete and a two by two here. Then we're gonna put two wither skeleton skulls on the front of each piston. Then we need to do these ones in the middle right here. So a two by two of black concrete right here and on this side and then two wither skeleton skulls on the front of each one. And then we need to come to the front pistons we already made and put a wither skeleton skull, two of them on the front of each one up here. Now we're gonna do our driving rods. So we're gonna come off the bottom of the piston right here and put two sideways end rods. Then two jungle fences here and two fence gates on top. Then four smooth stone slabs here, move down a hitbox and five slabs. Then put a skeleton skull here and here, and here and here. And that's the driving rod design. And we have to do that on all six sets of these driving wheels. So two end rods here, two fences here, two fence gates up here, then four slabs here, then five down here, and a skeleton skull here and here. And do that on all the sets of driving wheels. Then once we've done that on all our driving wheels on both sides, we're going to take smooth stone slabs and put two under the lightning rods. Same thing here, two here. And same thing here, two right here. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So two here. Two here. And finally, two up here. Then we need to do all our connection points on the locomotive. So we're going to come behind the second set of driving wheels here. Put three netherite in the middle here. Then we're going to skip forward and put five netherite here. Then we're going to come forward where these pistons are. Put three here. Then we're going to come in the middle of these driving wheels. Put two here and then up on the front three right here. Then grab 
a polish blackstone button here. And we're going to put two buttons on the top of the piston. And then two on this one. And two on this third one. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side on all three pistons here. Now take blackstone brick slab right here, put three coming across this center. Then we're going to come up here and crouch. And up here we're going to put five dark oak trap doors coming across here. So it looks like that on the front and there's kind of like two steps there. Then we're going to do our smoke box. So take polished deep slate, come one block behind the trap doors. And we're going to do a line of polished deep slate five blocks along in the center. Then five upside down polished deep slate stairs here, five on this side. Then we'll cover the top of this in two layers of polished deep slate block. Then on the top middle, two polished deep slate, a soul campfire, two polished deep slate. Then a row of stairs here, and a row of stairs on this side, you get a polished deep slate block over this campfire. Then on the side of this right here, an oak sign and an oak button underneath it. Do the same thing on this side, so a sign and a button. Then we'll do the headlights to take out a frog light. Put a frog light on the center right here. A dark oak trap door on top and close the trap door on either side. Then we need to get a trap door on the bottom of it. And then we're going to crouch and put a dark oak sign on that. And type our number 5016. And hit that with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're going to come back behind the second set of driving wheels. And we're going to take out netherite on this top middle here. And we're going to put netherite up here. And it needs to come one block back sticking out here. And turn this into a line that's six blocks long. And then six on this side here. And six on this side here so it's three blocks wide. Then we're going to take out polished black stone brick block. And slab and stair. One block forward from the back here, we're going to put three blocks. Then an upside down, forward facing black stone brick stair in front of it. And a slab here. We'll also put a slab on this top back. Then come underneath this and put three slabs down here. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So a slab up here, upside down stair, three blocks, and a slab. Then three slabs down under here. Then we'll come on top of this and do the cab. So on each side, we'll put a full row of black stone brick blocks. Then one block on each of the back corners, and on the front corners, an inward facing stair on each side. Then behind the stair, we're going to put two glass panes on either side. Then take dark oak trapdoor, close one here and one here, then one here and one here. On this top outside edge, a full row of outward facing stairs and come one block behind the cab. And then we'll do the same thing on this side here and come one block behind the cab. Then three upside down stairs across the back here. Then three black stone brick blocks across the front. Two on each side and fill the rest of it. In this hole, we're going to put two oak trap doors. And then we'll take black stone brick slab again. And we're going to come around these and fill this whole roof three wide with slabs up here. And now the shell of our cab is done. Now come under the window here, put a dark oak sign with five zero and another one with one six. Hit them both with yellow dye and a glowing sack. Do the same thing on this side. So a sign with five zero and a sign with one six. Get them both with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna take out packed ice here. And we're gonna come on this center and do a full line up the middle. You could also use light blue concrete. I'm just trying to better color match the locomotive. On the side of it, do a full row of upside down prismarine brick stairs. Same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs here. Then we'll come on the top of each side and 
we're going to do two layers of packed ice coming down each side here and bring it back. And we'll come right back till we're just in front of the cab here. Then on the top up here, two rows of three packed ice in front of the cab. And then a line of packed ice up this top center. Finally, we'll take prismarine brick stairs again and do a full row of right side up stairs across this. And then a full row of right side up stairs on this side. Then we'll come back here and two rows of three black stone brick slabs on top of that. Then down here in front of the cab, six stone blocks and an upside down stone stair in front of it. Then put six polished black stone buttons on the side. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, so come down here, six stone blocks, and an upside down stair in front of it, and then six polished black stone buttons on the side of it. Then right in front of this stair, we're going to do seven polished deep slate walls coming forward. And we'll do the same thing on this side, right in front of this, seven walls. Then we'll come back up on this side at the front of this section of packed ice. Put two grindstones, skip a block, two more, and two fence gates in between them here. Then we're going to go back to our dark oak trap doors here. And we're going to come up here and start a line of trap doors coming back across the top of this. And we're going to need to extend them back here till they're at the back of this polished deep slate section. So stand up here and crouch, add two more. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So we'll come back here and start bringing trap doors back across here. Bring them to the back of this polished deep slate section here. Like that. Then on these back two, move up a block, put two trap doors up here, and start bringing it back. When we get where these walls are, we're going to put a row of black stone brick slabs above the walls. And then behind this, back to trap doors, back to the cab here. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to put two trap doors here, then three here, and across this, black stone brick slab, and then across this, dark oak trap doors. Then once that's done, we're going to switch over to a lightning rod on this top layer and start right here and do a full line of lightning rods coming forward. And just keep it coming here and we're going to bring it right up till it's aligned with the front of the smoke box here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So start right here and do a full line of sideways lightning rods up here. same thing bring it right up to the front of the smoke box then we're gonna come back here with chains this time under it and start doing a full line of sideways chains here and then on this side when we get right here at the front of the packed ice section we need one vertical chain then we're going to come over to this side, come under here, and start a line of chains coming forward here. And we're going to bring it right up to these grindstones up here. And then right here, we're going to put three polished blackstone buttons up here. Now we'll come back here on the top, and we're going to knock out the fifth stair forward on each side and we're going to put three black stone brick slabs on each side like this then back here in the middle a trap door then a trap door here on the third block forward 
And then we're gonna knock out this one, put in a temporary block, and this one, put in a temporary block. On this left hand side, four yellow candles, and one on the right hand side, and then replace the stairs under the candles here. Then we'll skip a block forward, two black stone brick slabs here. Then make sure you have an empty spot in your hotbar, because we need to type in a command to get a structure block. So come in the command menu, and we're going to type slash give space at sign s space the word structure underscore void. And that should give you the structure void block. And we're going to put that on the top middle right here. And we're going to use that to mount a bell on the side right here so we don't see that structure void block. Then on this side of fence gate here. Then we're going to move forward. Right here we're going to put a trap door. Then a fence gate, then knock out this block. Three black stone brick slabs, knock out this one, three black stone brick slabs. And now all our top detailing is done. And we're going to come back here and come inside the cap. We're going to knock out this front center block, put in another brick. Then two polished deep slate in this hole, one on either side, one on the top middle. Then a stair here and here. Then light this nether brick on fire, close the trap door over it. Then we're going to put a lever here, one up on the roof. Then we need to grab a birch fence gate here, open a fence gate up here. Then we need a mangrove button, put a button here. Then we need an item frame and a recovery compass here. Then we'll turn around and put a stair on either side for the seats here. Then we'll come back here and we're going to put polished deep slate walls on the sides. So we're going to put two walls here, two here, then three dark oak trap doors right here. Then we're going to come down underneath this here and we're going to put two polished deep slate walls here. Then we need dark oak fence gate again. Two fence gates here, three here. Do the same thing on this side. So three here and two here. Now we'll work on the tender. So we're going to come right here and put two rows of three black concrete here and then one on each of these top corners up here. Then we're going to crouch and we need to put three dark oak fence gates in a column right here. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So crouch and put three fence gates here. Then we'll come up top on this middle, on this top layer, and do a line of black concrete coming up the center. At the back of this netherite is where we stop and put one here, and then bring a line of black concrete under here up to these wheels. And then three right there. Then we're going to take black stone brick stairs and do a full row of upside down stairs across here. And then same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs across here. Then we'll switch to polish black stone brick slabs. And on this top outside edge, start right here and do a full line of slabs up here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of slabs up here. Then we're going to switch over to black concrete for the walls of the tender. And we're going to come up front and we're going to start one block back from the front on each side and do a column of two black concrete. Then we'll bring black concrete two blocks high all the way down the side up here. Then right here, come straight across the back, two blocks tall. 
And finally, come back up this side, two blocks tall with your black concrete. Right up to the front here. Then we're gonna come to the rear end here. And we're gonna put five black stone brick slabs across here. Then right here, open a column of three dark oak fence gates for the ladder. Then on this side over here, we need to get a black stone brick slab right here. And then a column of four black stone brick walls coming up. Then a skeleton skull on each of these top corners. Then we're gonna come underneath and put a fence gate here and here. And then in this gap down here, we're gonna put two rows of fence gates. And then we'll do the same thing on this side two rows of fence gates right here. Now we're going to come up in the front of the tender here. And we're going to put two black shulker boxes on the side here, two here. In the middle, two cobbled deep slate, which I'm using for coal, just so it shows up against the black. And behind it, one block back, we need three wide of cobbled deep slate in the middle here. And like I said, I'm just using this for the coal. You can use coal or whatever you block you want for this. And then we're gonna make this 11 blocks long coming back. So a three by 11 here. Then behind this, down here, we'll fill this whole middle gap three wide with black concrete so it's all filled in. Then we'll come up to the front, put a black stone brick stair facing outward on either side of the front here. Then. Right here, we're going to put three dark oak trapdoors. Then on the side of this coal pile, a full line of trapdoors here, and we're going to close them all. And then same thing here, a full line of trapdoors on this side, and then close them all. Then on the back of the coal pile here, we're going to put three backward facing polished black stone brick stairs in the center. Then on the side here, a row of trapdoors to the back come across the back and then back up this side till you're aligned with the stairs. Then back in this corner a 2x2 two two of black stone brick slabs here. And then to make the coal pile look more dim three dimensional I'm going to put an assortment of random polished deep slate slabs up here or cobbled deep slate rather. No rhyme or reason however you want the coal pile to look. Now we need to make some banners so get a loom here, and we're going to come into the loom with a black banner and yellow dye. We're going to put a vertical on the left, horizontal on the top, bottom, and middle. New banner. Top half yellow, vertical on the left, diagonal. New banner, vertical in the center. Then go to black dye, put a black border on all three of these. Then we're going to come up on the side of the tender and place these. And the end of the word is going to be right here, one block behind the stairs, and we're just going to spell Erie with a gap of space between each one. And then of course, we need to do the same thing. Start right here and spell the word Erie with a block of space between each banner. And there we have it folks. We've completed our build for our Erie Railroad Triplex 28882 steep locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.